everyone, Chelsea here again. Today I'm going to be taking you through another Pilates class, this time targeting our core and our legs specifically. You won't need any props, just your mat, yourself, a water bottle, and maybe a towel. We're going to start on the mat today, so when you're ready, come on down and find a comfortable cross-seated position. I hope you enjoy the next 30 minutes and just taking this time for yourself today. Closing down your eyes, big breath in through the nose. and out through the mouth, softening the shoulders down, lengthening your spine, keeping grounded through those sit bones, breathing in, sitting up nice and tall, fill up the lungs completely, and then just exhale out through the mouth, softening. Two more like this, big breath in, and a long breath out, nice growing tall. And with every exhale, just softening down. Nice job. Just slowly taking your right ear to your right shoulder. Breathing in here. And then just circling chin to the chest, coming over to your left side. Big breath in. And long breath out, chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder. Keep drawing the belly in, activating through your core. Just slowly starting to circle the neck from side to side, creating length in the back of the neck, all the way down the side into the shoulder, waking up the body. One more each side, chin to chest. Maybe close down the eyes if that feels good for you. Back to center and all the way to the right. Nice job. When you're coming back, just bringing your head on top of your shoulders and reaching the arms up to the ceiling, taking your left hand over to the left side, reaching the right arm across. So just a lateral flexion, stretching down that right rib cage, all the way down into your lower back. Nice. Big breath in. And then slowly take your hands out in front of you, finding a little forward fold. Hands out in front, just tucking chin to chest, melting forward. Here for three breaths. Big breath in. And a long breath out. Two more. Slowly walk the fingertips maybe a little further in front. Big breath in. And exhale out. Softening the body. Nice job. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And then when you're ready, walking the hands over to the right. Right hand onto the mat, reaching the left arm up and over. Lateral flexion, opposite direction. Excellent job. Just waking up the body. Two more breaths. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more here. And all the way out. Slowly taking both hands to the mat and just taking your knees, finding your way into tabletop position. So I might face this way. Finding tabletop position. So spreading your fingers nice and wide. Shoulders over your wrists. Knees hip distance apart and just tucking your toes under, arching the spine, look all the way up, and then exhale, coming back to neutral position. From here, keeping your toes tucked, just walk your knees in a little bit so they're underneath your hips, and hovering your knees up off the ground. Start to engage through your core, squeeze your belly to backbone, and then lower back down. Inhale at the bottom, and then exhale out through the mouth, hovering the knees up. Squeeze the belly to your backbone. Nice job. Feel the core engaging, strong through the upper body. And then lower the knees down. Three more like this. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, lift the knees up, squeeze the belly in. Inhale, lower down. And exhale, knees come up, hovering up, holding here. Belly is activated. Strong through those quads as well. And lower back down. Last one, hovering the knees up, holding here for 10, 9, 8, keep going, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, lower the knees down and just reach your left leg nice and long and right arm out in front. Hands and feet still on the mat, squeeze your belly to backbone, lift up 
through that lower abdominal and hands out in front. Lifting your right arm up now and left leg at the same time. Reaching out through your fingertips and pointing through the toes, lengthen through your spine and then slowly lower your hand down and your foot and as you exhale, lift it up. Down and up. Making sure that when you lift your foot and your hand, there's no dipping through your pelvis, so keeping nice and strong through the core. Excellent, keep going with this side. Nice job. Halfway, 10 more. 10, nine, keep lifting up and out of that wrist. Nice job. Five more, four, three, two, one. Holding at the top and then slowly lower down. Let's do opposite side as well. So right foot back, left arm out in front, point through your toes, point through the fingers, squeeze the belly, reaching out away, creating space in the spine. And then slowly lower down. One, two, inhale down, exhale up. Nice job. Lengthen through your neck as well, so looking towards the top of your mat. Keep going. Ten more. Ten, tap the toes and the hands. Nine, eight, squeeze the belly. Seven, six, nice job, five, you can do it, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, come back to center, finding that tabletop position again, just shake out through your wrists, release through the hands, tucking the toes, finding our little hovering position, and this time we're gonna step one leg back, and then the other leg back to me, and then step it in. So we wanna keep the knees hovering the whole time, Stepping out and stepping in. If this is too much, you can just stay with your little hover holds and lower down. Otherwise, finding your hovering in tabletop, step one leg back, other leg back, and then back in. 10 more, 10. Alternating which leg you step back with. Nine, I know, eight, seven, keep breathing. Six, five, shoulders are on fire, four, three, two, and one, lowering down. Just shift your hips back, find your child's pose, take a few deep breaths, releasing the weight out of that upper body, in through the nose, and all the way out. One more, big breath in, and then exhale out through the mouth. And then slowly making your way back, finding your tabletop position. Moving on from this one, we'll start with the same leg. So left leg and right arm out in front. Activating through the core now, you're gonna try and draw knee to elbow, and then reach away. So really try and round through your spine, creating a core activation and then reach away. So you want to try and draw an elbow to the knee and then reach out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep going, five, four, three, two, and one. Holding out, holding, five, four, three, two, one, resting down. Shake it out side to side, release through your neck, just maybe take a few rounds cat cow. Arching the spine all the way up and then coming back. Nice job. One more round of cat cow and then come back to tabletop position. Right leg back, left arm out in front. Now trying to draw knee to the elbow. Reach nice and long. So this one challenges your core stability as well. Just changing your base of support. So try to see if you can make it nice and slow and controlled so that when you take the arm away and the knee together, you're staying in that nice long line. Level through your hips. Keep going. Six more. Six. 
reach away, point through your toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lowering it down. Excellent job. We are going to swivel around so we're on the side and coming up so our right leg is out and our left knee is under the body. Like that. Moving into our obliques. So just bring the hands up so your elbows out nice and wide and fingertips behind your ears. And slowly start to take the body over to the left. Inhaling and then exhale and come back up above. So we're going to just go down and up. Keep engaging through your belly. Draw the belly in towards your spine. Try not to hold your breath. Excellent. Six more. Six. Five. Nice job, everyone. Four. Three. Two. And one. See this time, if you can go over, reach your arms back and then up. So it's just more of a hold with your obliques. So come over, reach your arms, hands towards your ears, and then back up. Nice. Five more. Five. Four. Reach your hands away. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. Coming all the way back to centre. And then just take your left hand towards the ground. Right hand towards your hip. Looking towards your hand just to protect your neck. And then we we'll start to lower and lift that top leg. Excellent. So we're getting into the glutes here in the side position. More into our abductors. Keep activating through your core. Lower and lift through the toes. If anything doesn't feel right for you throughout, or if it's too painful, then just take a child's pose until we move on. There's no harm in doing that. Doesn't matter. Keep going. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze that leg nice and high. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reaching the top hand away now. Reach up and away through those fingertips. And we're going to try and reach our elbow towards the knee and then away. So you want to go here and extend. Elbow to knee and extend. Whew, feel that side body and our glute, even the supporting legs, start to fire up. Let's just do 10. Keep going. Nine, you've got it. Eight. Seven. Six. Nice job. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold, and then lower down. Coming back to centre, into the middle, and just taking your child's pose out in front before we change sides. Feeling those legs. Three deep breaths. And all the way out. Two more. Feeling the heat in the body. And just softening with every exhale. Take a break whenever you need. And then slowly we'll make our way into the other side. So we're going to step our left foot out to the side. And onto our right knee. If you've got any pain in your knee, you might like a little cushion or something underneath there. Hands come behind the ears. Foot, left foot out to the side. And then slowly inhale over towards the right. Exhale back to centre. Nice. Just go as low as feels good for you. So if you have any lower back, you may not get too far, but that's okay. You might just go to here and then back up. No problems with that. Just working on activating through that side core. Keep working that. 10 more. 10. 9. 8. Keep breathing. Doesn't matter if you're breathing the opposite, just make sure you're not holding your breath. And don't lose count. <laughs> Five more. Four. Three. 
two, belly squeezing in, and then last one. This time try to reach away, hands come back and then up. We're just going to do ten, reach, hands in and up. Nine, eight, reach, seven, reach the hands, six, squeeze the belly, five, Nice job, four, just go as low as feels good for you. Three more, almost there, and we're getting out of this position. Two, one more, all the way over, and then lower that right hand down. Woo. Right hand comes in line with your knee, take your gaze towards the hand, just protect the neck, and you can take your top hand onto your hip. Squeeze your core on, and then slowly, with that foot in line with your hip, try and point through your toes and lifting your leg up. There we go. Nice job. We've got 20, but I'll just count down from 10. That's distracts you. Nice job. Keep breathing. 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Reach the left arm over, still in our side position, and then we start to take left elbow to left knee. Reach out and in. We're just going to do 10, 9, crunching through that obliques, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, Ooh, lowering all the way down, and then just coming over onto your bottom. So we're going to find our way onto the mat, all the way down. Let's release through the lower back. So just rocking knees side to side, windscreen ripening the knee. knees. Keep your feet together to start with. Maybe take your arms out into a little cactus position, and then we'll take the feet as wide as the mat also and then just rocking from side to side. Nice job. Alrighty, coming into our bridge series now. So let's set that up. Bring your feet in line with your hips, your heels, and then just making those heels reachable with your fingertips. Feet a shoulder distance apart, and just relaxing your hands down by your side. From here, we're just going to slowly start to roll up one vertebrae at a time, all the way up into our bridge. Making sure that when we come to the top, we're not spanning through our ribcage and doing like a yoga bridge. We're one long line with our hips, spine and shoulders. So just protecting your back there. And then start to roll down. All the way down to the mat. Pelvis is last to touch. Relaxing at the bottom. Inhaling, and then exhaling out from the mouth, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Driving up through those heels, you can even lift through the toes so you're getting more activation through your glutes. All the way to the top, breathing in, and then rolling down one vertebrae at a time. All the way down, breathing in, and then rolling up. Breathing in at the top. Nice and slow to start, and then exhale out, rolling down. Let's speed it up now. So just breathing in and out to come back down. In to go up, out is down. Nice job. Squeezing your glutes at the top, like you're trying to squeeze a $50 note between your bottom, that will activate through those glutes. Nice job. Keep going. All the way up and down. We've got 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, lift your hands up now in line with your shoulders. So bring the hands up off the mat, wrists in line with the shoulders, squeeze your glutes together. Activate through your belly, 
spread your fingertips nice and wide. And then from here, we're just going to inhale, take the arms overhead, touch the floor, exhale, back up in line with the shoulders. Hips are just staying still, so isometric contraction through our glutes, and then back up. Nice, we've got 10, 9, no pain through your neck. If this doesn't feel good for you, then just keep your arms where they are and hold. Excellent. Keep going with those hips high as you start to get tired, they start to lower. Let's do five, four, almost there. Last one, holding at the top, and then slowly start to lift one heel at a time, keeping your hands above your shoulders. One heel lifts and then lowers for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like we're marching. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, two, and one. Let's lower the lower back all the way down to the mat and draw our knees into the chest. We're not going anywhere, but we're just gonna release through that lower back. Draw the knees in and then just do a couple of circles and then go the other way. All right. Feet back down. I told you it was about glutes today. <laughs> Hands above your shoulders. Let's lift the hips up nice and high. Finding that position again. Maybe just um, heel toe your feet in a little closer. This time lifting up both heels at a time. So we come up and down for 10. Nice. Nine, eight, seven. If it's too much with your hands up, just take them back down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the heels down, keep the knees up nice and high, and slowly take one leg out to the side, and then back to center. So we're dropping one knee out to the side, and then back up. Notice what happens with your stabilizing leg. See if you can maintain it nice and still. So there's lots of core control and activation. Holy dooly. Let's just do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the middle, lower all the way down. And just send your left foot up to towards the ceiling. Lower your hands back down to the mat. So moving into some single leg bridges. Make sure you can touch that heel with your hand and slowly just start to push up. We'll start with our left leg lifted, right leg on the ground, lifting up and lowering back down. If single leg is too much, no, you can always just come back to a double leg. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, and one. From here, stay nice and high and just sweep that toe up and down. Nice, so we're bridging into that right glute and just activating that left leg going up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. All the way up, oh my God, my legs are shaking, lower down. I've got right knee into the chest, just stretching out the back of that thigh and into the glute. Big breath in, and long breath out. All right, right leg up towards the ceiling now, left heel is planted. <clears throat> Relaxing the hands down beside you, and just moving through our single leg bridges. So point the right toes, lifting up and going down. Really press through that left heel, driving up, activating through our hamstring and our glutes. So let's do five more. I know. Four, three, two, one. Stay lifted. Sweep the foot down and then back up for five, four, three, two. And one, lowering all the way down and just taking a breath in here and a full breath out. Couple more things for our glutes. So we're just gonna take up into our bridge position, maintaining that, and then just marching one leg up and one leg down. So we want to take your hands to your hips now. So really focusing on 
uh, glutes activating so that when you lift one leg up off the mat, there's no dipping through your pelvis, okay? So you want to keep both hips in line with each other. This can be quite difficult and you'll notice one side might be stronger than the other. And this is a common exercise I like to give to patients with poor hip strength or even in their lower back, just so that when you lift one leg up, you can maintain that strength through the opposite leg and lowering it back down. Not easy. So let's do 10 more. 10, nine, squeeze the belly in as well. Eight, nice and slow and controlled. Seven, six, five, almost there. Keep going, four, three, two, and one. Lowering all the way down onto the mat. And just roll over onto your belly. We're gonna stretch out through our lower back. Sometimes you might feel a little bit of tightness when you're doing your glute work. So just take your fingertips as wide as the mat, forehead to touch, and then slowly just pressing through the fingertips, rolling the body up one vertebrae at a time, looking towards the ceiling, and then rolling back down. Nice job. Three more like this. All the way up and all the way down. Two more. Look up towards the ceiling. Neck is last to look and then lower down. Feel that gentle stretch stretch through your lower back. And then all the way back down onto the mat. Alrighty. Rolling back over, let's move on to our core work. So onto your back and just taking our feet into the same position as we were for our bridging. So just reach into touch with your heels. Nice. And then from here, we're just gonna take one leg up and one leg down. So what I want you to work on is imprinting your lower back. So our neutral spine is when you can fit your fingertips underneath. Take them out from there and then just as if you're squishing something with your back into the mat, imprint your spine, and then slowly take one knee up and then lower back down. Inhale down, exhale, we lift up. So nice and easy exercise. So we'll progress it from here. So know that you can always come back to this. Still going to be activating your core. Just make sure that when you lift your knee up, the knee doesn't come higher than the hip. As soon as you take the knee above the hip, you'll notice your core deactivates. We just come in line with the hip. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. From here, we go left leg up, right leg up, left leg down, right leg down. So you want to come up, up, down, down. Swapping sides that you lift with and just coming from the mat up into the tabletop position. Both legs meet and then you lower back down. Alternating which side you lift with first, keeping that imprinted spine onto the mat. So really engaging through your core. Come up and lower down. Excellent. 10 more. Nice and slow and controlled, no way to rush. Just go at your own pace. It's better off having better reps than more numbers of them. So if you just do a few of them and get it nice and controlled with your core, it's better than smashing out 50 and just swaying your legs around. So nice and controlled. Let's just do three more. Three, two, keep breathing. Last one. Come up into a tabletop position now. So both legs are lifted, knees over the hips and ankles in line with your knee. <clears throat> keep that imprinted spine. And from here, you're going to tap one heel down and then lift up. So you go opposite leg up and down. That's it. You can point through your toes if you like and just tapping down, either tapping your heel or tapping your toe and just making sure both knees meet back up in tabletop before you lower down. Noticing that each little variation that we take gets a little bit harder. So if it gets too hard, know that you can always come back to the first or the previous option. Keep going with this. 30 seconds. So you're just gonna lower down and lift. Keep imprinting that lower back. If you need a break, just take your feet down and just windscreen wipe with the knees. 
Excellent. Almost there. Keep going. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hug the knees into the chest. Just sweeping the knees in. And then finding your dead bug position. So hands above your shoulders, knees above your hips, and ankles in line with the knee. And then from here, same thing with the, with the uh, heel coming down, but you're going to take the opposite arm overhead and breathe it out, come back. So you're coming down and back. So nice little core series to slowly start firing up. After a little while, you'll start to feel a tiny activation through that core. You'll also feel it through our quads as well. Whoa, coordinate the hands and the arms. That's it, opposite side. Nice job. So just taking the heel down, keeping a bend in the knee so it's, our hip is hinging. We're not just um, tapping the heels down. So make sure you take it out of the way and back in. Keep imprinting that lower back. Nice job. 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, all, oh, so nearly there, 3, 2, and 1, hug the knees into your chest, give yourself a big squeeze, and setting ourselves up for a little bicycle now, so getting a bit of a twist through our core, getting more into our obliques. So we'll take the hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide, now we will go in. Hopefully still following along. So elbows nice and wide, knees over your hips. And then take your left foot down towards the ground and curl on your left elbow to your right knee and then come back. So we're doing a really slow bike. Right leg down, right elbow, left knee. Back in, keep your back imprinted as well. All the way over and back. Nice job. Four, ten. Squeeze your belly. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay with your bike, or if you want to make it harder, you can have both legs extended, and then they just come back to our extended position, and then swap. Holy dooly. Let's just do 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Roll the feet back down to the mat, and just start to take knees from side to side. Awesome job. Windscreen wiping the knees. The hard work is done. Let's just take a few stretches now to finish. So releasing through the lower back, take knees side to side. And then coming back to center, hug the right knee to the chest. Let's take the right knee over towards the left, looking towards the right. Big twist. So there are a few core exercises you can work on. Just start progressing them from easy, moderate and hard. And then rolling back to centre. Hug the knees into the chest, let's swap sides. Right leg nice and long, left leg into the chest. And then taking the left knee over to the right. All the way over, release through your back, looking towards the left if you can. Big breath in. And all the way out. Two more like that. Twisting out through internal organs. Big massage. Big breath in. All the way out. One more. Slowly rolling back to centre. Hug both knees into your chest. And just drawing little circles with the knees. So take the knees up to the chest, knees out nice and wide, mobilizing through the hips. Releasing any tension in the groin, inner thighs. 
and then just slowly start to circle the knees the opposite way. Take the knees out wide, knees back to centre. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hugging the knees in nice and close. Rocking and rolling. All the way back up. Finding a comfortable cross seated position again. And just finishing with a few neck stretches, taking left ear to left shoulder. Find your way back up into your seated position, stretching out through the neck. Right ear, right shoulder. So nice. Well done, everybody. Such a good way to either start your day and just get a little bit of work going for your abs and your legs, especially. Look up towards the ceiling and then just tucking your chin to the chest. And coming back to center. Thank you so much.